Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're back with Atlier, uh, Sue and Lydie. Lydie and Sue. I think it... Yeah. I can't remember who gets top billing. The new one on the Switch. So I found a thing. You think this is running. You are wrong. I was gonna say... This was... is running. Oh man! You have like a turbo boost. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the basement. Oh yeah, creepy basement time. I'm sure nothing will bad will happen to us precocious waifs. Yeah. So, I figure it's like magic paintings, and we're gonna have some like Mario 64 action happening here. That'd be neat. Either that, or it's gonna be like Pikmin's model, and there's monsters in the basement that he's painting. It's pretty, you could probably sell that. I was going to say, I am starting to wonder, like, what does he do with the paintings? <laughs> That's the hunger. Again, you guys really need a sandwich. Oh, man, I called it. Mario 64. So, here's the real question. Did we just play the prologue and now we have to learn about the new fantastical painting world we're in? Probably. Or is the painting world a thing we can freely travel in and out of? Guess we'll find out. We have to watch the introduction though. I mean, yeah, otherwise we'll be lost. And they spent a lot of time animating this. I don't think they did. <laughs> this looks curiously like in-game graphics. Oh yeah, it totally is. Hey, those animation rigs ain't cheap. We gotta get our use out of them. And Koi Tecmo does nothing with a the budget these days. <laughs> And, I mean, there was an animated, like, before the credits cutscene. I suppose so. I am really hoping that we get to the meat of the game before two episodes go by. I know it's a JRPG, but I'll feel a little bad. Not for us, but for you the know, game. Final Fantasy started by uh, jumping off a train and murdering some guards. Just saying, it got to the gameplay pretty quick. Mm-hmm. I like that in games. Gotta front load all that story. But again, I guess Final Fantasy 13 had a 20 hour tutorial, so. That modern JRPGs was my <laughs> beloved art form, just. Okay. Well, this isn't Kansas. Nope. Ah, oh, man, now we get introduced to a new setting. Hopefully their alchemy powers still work and they can find work there. Yeah. This is how their dad's been foraging for food and not telling them. <laughs> he comes down here and fights like painted bears every night. I mean, sure, why not? Dad, these berries are delicious! He just doesn't eat them because he knows that they're made of paint. <laughs> I like how you assume your dad's responsible for this. Maybe that's who was calling out earlier. <laughs> Don't come down into the basement, you'll get stuck inside the... Help, we're trapped in the painting! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It turns out it was really hard to hear you through the floorboards, so we just heard, like, help the painting. Alright. Feels like I've already taken two to the chest in a Call of Duty game. Got the schmutz around the outside of the screen. Oh. Well, that's because it's a painting. Clearly he's a, an impressionist painter, not a, a realist painter. Oh no, a monster. 
The monster, don't you read the subtitle? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're fighting. There you go, that's what a puny normally looks like. They're like slimes. Right. I think I think it's required for JRPGs to have a slime based monster and it has to be kinda cute. I know. You took an amount of damage. Hooray, we're winning. I mean I would hope so. Oh, there's the initiative thing inside the screen. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that's not indicative of uh, how long it takes to level up in this game. I can't say for sure, but I do remember it being a little grindy. But that was also a single slime. Whoa. <laughs> Playing cards? I was gonna say, like, I liked that it showed up like it was literally the ass. It was the same art ass that they use in the menu, just bigger. But okay, painting world. We're dealing with, you know, like, this is not a pipe kind of stuff, I guess. How can I tell what's supposed to be glowing and what just naturally has sparkles around it? <laughs> Everything's too sparkly. Oh, some of the sparkles are things you can gather. Neat. For the crafting portion, where the real game is. So I hear. I wish you could gather their potted plants. <laughs> well, why can't I pick these flowers? They must have no alchemical value. How would I know that? <laughs> Not even a level 2 alchemist. One of you carries, like, the big book of alchemy, and you're sort of looking at it like, Man, Dad's sort of an impressionist painter. I can't tell how many leaves that has. They're just brush strokes. Although, given that this is a painting, everything looks 2D to them. <laughs> so maybe they just go for the ones that have a border like a okay, playing guys. card. Your I solution for finding a way out was to launch yourself Death. over the nearest cliff. Death is the only way. <laughs> Death is the only release. <laughs> They're like, okay, bored now. <laughs> Hooray, we're not dead. Collecting alchemy ingredients and letting loose all of the things in the painting. Sorry, we're busy being successful. <laughs> Did he paint their dead mom? Is that what we're dealing with here? I mean, maybe she's not dead. Maybe she just can't find her way out of the painting. She hasn't tried launching herself into the abyss yet. Alright. That was a thing. Let's see what we can put together. So is alchemy in this world just throw stuff in a pot and see what happens? Well, no, there's recipes. But, I mean, if you're starting out at alchemy, heck yeah. There's a reason people don't give you job. Like, oh, I need a potion that can do this. Uh, I have a big sack of stuff. Maybe I can make something that does that. It's like when you were a little kid and your idea of cooking was putting stuff in a pot and applying heat. You know what I mean? <laughs> like... Synthesis time six... Three months, 16 days? That doesn't seem right. I think it takes six hours to make what you were trying to make. And so it's the third month, the third day, tenth hour. 
It'll be the third month, third day, 16th hour when you're done. Wow, okay. Let's just say you can really bulk produce and in theory spend several days cooking if you made big enough enough stuff. I guess. Yeah, the really nice one. Unlike all of the other paintings. Why don't you make more like that? Alright, put you up there. Yeah. Part of me wonders if he's going to be the boss fight of the game. Probably. That or God. Or both. So I just noticed your little button icon is in fact a puny, or puny. Oh, yes. It's a little slime and you're poking it with, I don't know, a piece of chalk or something. <laughs> Ooh, what? What are you doing exactly? Putting up new job notices? We're looking at who's taking them. I like that the gal on the load screen changes which uh, which sister it is. Mm. It's a small thing. Chapter 2. A mentor and an official note. Take the shortcut to power. Good. Good. Let the paint flow. Why are we out of money? Uh, food? Not food. You. Oh. Shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> Emphasize some old shoes? How is that? I'm gonna guess that he makes them into new shoes. Yeah. Like, Alchemy can do some crazy stuff. So, like, he could repair shoes. I guess. You could be an alchemy cobbler if nobody wants you for real work, I guess. I like the fact that they use the same pot for everything, so as far as I can tell, that is, like, the seasoning on a pan, where, like, all the previous <laughs> stuff cooks into the next stuff. Uh, that's... Huh. It's a magic pan. The magic's cooked in. Hello. Uh, you had a side quest yeah. icon. Oh. Can we live here? Do you still take in orphans? Is that a thing? <laughs> But you aren't orphans. We can be. We can fix that. <laughs> Cox gun. <laughs> we have to be adults. Our father is the worst. <laughs> Wait, give us the job we need money for food. <laughs> Old and venerable church, got it. Weren't you guys going to be talking about a thing? Apparently not. They just wanted to get rid of you. <laughs> oh, I have a very important call on my <laughs> bird. <laughs> caw! Caw! See? Yeah, no, I've got a call. It's very important. Gotta go pick it up.
Oh no. Well, I mean, they can't tax you on income. Oh. That near ranking system. Wait. Oh if man. If you're high rank, you shouldn't need. Well, no, I think they're I think they're trying to get high ranking ones by promoting low ranking oh. ones. But if they. If they get to a certain rank where it proves that they're serious about being alchemists, they can apply for, like, financial aid, basically. It'd be like gotcha. a financial aid program to get undergrads their masters, I think. I got it. Okay, and rank is not determined by popularity, thank God. No, like, you ranked up just for making a bunch of band-aids. So, yeah. you know, if you make enough band-aids, in theory... The best band-aid shop in the whole kingdom. I do think the low level alchemy crafting does stop producing, like, good XP or maybe any XP eventually. Probably. But, you know, you'll get more stuff. You can make cool stuff then. But I guess that's what that cutscene was about. Here. Putting up a notice to attract alchemists. Oh boy. We can be state alchemists. I mean, this predates that other thing that you might be think that other alchemy-based animu thing you might be thinking of. <laughs> Hello, friend. Maybe. Lucia. 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 Ah, she has the oh, oh ho ho no. laugh. No, I don't think you ever get to be friends with someone with the oh ho ho laugh. That's usually not how that works. No. Rivals, rivals on your best day, and they still won't call you by your right name. <laughs> Oh good, the other shop created the exam, so they don't have to take it. Nepotism! <laughs> Alright, Muriel. Gotta brooch that clips into your shirt, but congratulations for having a whole shirt. We're officially in a higher tax bracket than we are. <laughs> it's true. Someday she'll be able to full shoulders. Like her boss. Her boss has one pauldron. <laughs> really climbing that social ladder. <laughs> yeah, we're twins, and there's an older one and a younger one, because that's how twins work. I mean, at least they don't have special eyes. <laughs> or completely Close. different hair colors. <laughs> remember the last set of... <laughs> remember the last set of twin sweets out with in an Animu game? This is actually as consistent as it gets. That's fair. They don't look like they come from different shows. Alright. Create dream paintbrushes. Recipe will be provided. Adaptation permitted. Oh man. I mean, you could probably just steal your dad's. If, if this is going where I think it's going. So, wait. There's no proctor for this test? We just have to come back with paintbrushes. It's an open book test! But I'm guessing that, uh, how many people can make this? I mean, I'd just hang out at the entrance to the town and go, Hey, are you an alchemist looking for the whole test ranking thing? Here, make one of these and you pass the test. And then my twin sister is in an alley with a half brick and a sock. <laughs> I mean, that does so a certain, a certain level of resourcefulness that they could use. Ah oh, man, I want to play that game <laughs> where we're not good at being alchemists. We're just very good at like crime. Ah, uh. alchemist, romant. The dude with the weird haircut's a romantic man. <laughs> he has a fiery passion, which is why he's shaped his little head duty to look like it. <laughs> no, it totally looks like a poop emoji. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty much. What is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty still sure not convinced it's hair. <laughs> Alchemical symbol for fire. All right.
Oh. Ah. Because we don't use doors. Doors are for commoners. I guess we've got question marks somewhere around here floating around. I mean, uh, yeah, I have a lot of questions floating around. Yeah, you don't get to keep a copy of the test. <laughs> Alright, fine. It's over here. Nothing. That's the answer to that question. But it really fleshes out the room. Makes it feel real. Yeah. That's what it does. <laughs> but they got this one stanchioned off. I was gonna say, I like the fact that they have velvet ropes so they think that keeps mischievous children at bay. <laughs> I mean, it had three velvet <laughs> ropes. I mean, clearly we can't bre we can't breach that high Just tech too security. High. Too much going on there. All right. Well. Let's go back to the house. Well, I mean, it's where your seasoned alchemy pot lives. You got to throw stuff in there until you get a. A magic paintbrush. Yep. Again, just steal dance from the basement. Yep. I do think it'd be funny if he had a dream paintbrush and didn't know it. So he really was <laughs> surprised that the basement painting is alive. That would be pretty funny. I just thought it was the cheap paint thinner. Okay, so... What is that? Uh, kind of looks like a sack of spikes. <laughs> nice ribbon, though. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a sack of spikes. Saved up to buy a book? Okay, you made it, but what is it? Yeah, <laughs> they still haven't answered that question. What is it? Is it gonna a it's unibag? A unibag? Physical damage small. I think it's just a sack of spikes. You throw at something. Or a bomb. Okay. <laughs> I think it's I think it's your brick with a sock in it. <laughs> Look, My alchemy brick with the sock in it. I made an alchemy. <laughs> yeah, you did. Just don't make an alchemy on the floor again. Oh man, a new book. I bet if we put that in a socket, it'd hurt real good. <laughs> oh yeah. You should use be... your new alchemy item on Dad. <laughs> Get into the basement. <laughs> Get into the basement, Father. All right. Well, next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna go <laughs> gather some materials. We're gonna do an alchemy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, catch you later.